YouTube. This is your girl Samantha Speeds and welcome back to my channel. My channel. Hey, sweetie squad, what's up, my lovies? Happy Wednesday. Okay, guys. So I apologize if I look tired. I am exhausted. But I wanted to go ahead and get this video up while everything is still fresh in my head. Plus, I've been talking to you guys uh, religiously about all of this going on, and I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for understanding. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for your advice. Thank you for your thoughts. Thank you for your opinions. So, this is going to be part two of the video from last, from, from yesterday of what happened last night because more things occurred, guys, and it's getting real. So before we do all of that, I just want to quickly just, this is not a beauty video. Samantha Sweets is not just a beauty channel. I do other things as well. And some people are, you know, wondering why I'm talking about this stuff because it is a sensitive subject, but I bring you guys into my life. I bring you guys into my world. You guys are not fans. You guys are family. So therefore, I let you guys know what's going on with me. I'm not fake. So I'm not going to, oh, hey, hi, God did it, knowing I had a night from hell. So I'm going to make sure that I explain to you guys everything in detail, what occurred. And again, if you're not into this type of video, please stay tuned for the next video because my next video will be in Ipsy Spoilers for April. So we're going to try to get back into that content. But right now, I just have to let you guys know, especially because a lot of you guys wanted an update in a part two. Okay, so if you're new to the YouTube channel, what's up? I'm your girl, Samantha Sweets. Please make sure you hit the subscription button below. Give it a click right here. Ring a ding, 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 ding the bell. Turn your post notifications on. Why? Because we do giveaways on this channel. And right now I have an epic, massive $500 giveaway going on. Beauty and makeup. The rules are very simple. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel. Make sure you like on that video. Make sure you share that video on any type of social media platform. And make sure that you comment down below which is is one of the two of my favorite uh, skincare um, products. Guys, my head is frazzled. Uh, products. And I'm announcing the four lucky winners on this Sunday. So get ready, guys, because I'm excited. I know you're ready, and I'm ready to get it going. Ready to find out who won. Okay, so let's get into my night last night. Okay. So trying to do a thumbnail for this, I'll go ahead and tell you that now. Um, it's not easy because, you know, my thumbnails are normally me showing a product or me smiling or me announcing a giveaway or something. So it's kind of hard to do a thumbnail. I'm not at all trying to make fun of this situation. I know this is a very tragic, sad thing going on right now. And I'm just trying to explain to you what is going on with me. So last night I had already posted to you guys. Uh, what was it like? nine o'clock, 10 o'clock at night. I'm not exactly sure, but I had posted on my YouTube stories that the night has already started. So I posted the video um, and what, what it went up like around six, six o'clock maybe or whatever. It was the only video I did yesterday. I know guys, I got to get back on my video mode. I've just been so, my body is exhausted. Um, I'm starting a weight loss thing. I'm actually sponsored by a weight loss company so yay but we'll get into that another when when the product comes we'll get into that so um my night last night I uploaded the video I went and got tacos tacos and it was a full moon it was a full moon I was getting tacos and then if you don't know what my favorite dessert is it's anything mint so I went and got a oreo fudgy mint ice cream I know right you're on a diet but you're eating like that I needed some guys it was a full moon so I ate my tacos and I was getting very tired but I knew that I wanted to sleep but I told you guys I was gonna take some sleep gummies so I went ahead and I took two sleep gummies and I love this brand it's Ollie Ollie is a great brand so if you need to sleep or stress relief I'm actually thinking about getting the stress relief gummies um coming very soon so um yeah just definitely check it out. It's an amazing brand and you can get it at Walmart. So affordable. So I took two sleep gummies and I went and took a shower. But before I took the shower, I lit the candle like my therapist said. I lit a white one though. You guys told me to light a red. So I think that's where I kind of messed up. But a little white one and I said, Tylee, I want to let you know that I'm here for you and that you and your brother can go on in peace. You can move on and 
finally know that your mother and your family cannot hurt you no more. That is what I told her. And I blew out the candle. I, you know, I said, in Jesus name, I pray. And guys, I'm sorry for doing this on my channel because I don't know if some of you guys are religious or not religious, but I'm just telling you what I did. Um, and surprisingly enough, I found out that a lot of my subscribers are empaths psychics and mediums so that is amazing to know i am not alone and maybe that's a reason why you're part of my squad a sweetie squad because we're all connected in some weird way um but as i told you guys i've not experienced this in a long time that was when i was younger that all the paranormal stuff had happened to me so let me continue so i went and took a shower I got out the shower and I went to go to my dresser to lotion up because I have eczema so you don't have to stay hydrated in my lotion and the water turned on. The sink, my sink turned on and I was like, is my son brushing his teeth? Like I wasn't like quite sure it was mine just yet because the door was shut. So I was like, what the hell? And so then as I listened closer to the door, the sink was on. So bam, there you have it. The sink was on. Of course, sweetie prince is scared. And so my son grabs a knife and I'm like, Dorian, what is a knife gonna do for a spirit? So that's just a boy's reaction, I guess. Then he grabs the broom and he goes to turn the water off because I'm too scared. Plus I'm still on a towel at this time. So he turns the water off for me and he brings me two cross necklaces and he puts them next to my bed and he's like, I was like, Dory, will you sleep with mommy? He says, no, I'm not sleeping in here, mom. I'm sorry. I love you, but I'm not sleeping here. Do you want the frog again? I said, no, I don't want the damn frog. Okay. So, and again, I'm not trying to make funny of this. This is just what occurred. So I'm laying in bed. I tell my best friend everything that happened. I told her and she's like, oh girl. And it's like getting later and my sleep gummies are definitely starting to hit me. So I'm deciding if I should take an anxiety pill or not. And I decide I'm going to lay down. But I call my friend and he's like, I'll stay on the phone with you. And I was like, okay, cool. Thanks. So he stays on the phone with me and he was like doing something with his car or something. So he had his headset on and so he was just listening to me. And he says that I was tossing turning screaming yelling he said that this is this is where it gets scary because it's like it's not just me telling you this now guys this is what my friend is telling me that he is hearing on the other end of the phone so he says that i would wake up and i would and i would and i would scream i would yell and i would be like leave me alone or i would say what do you want and i would go back to sleep well i and I swear to God on everything, guys, I was not sleeping. This was not a dream. I saw a, a hand. I, I, I don't want to say it's Tylee's. I'm pretty sure it is. But I saw a hand. A hand. A see-through hand. And it was like next to me, sort of. Like it was like this, kind of. And I was like, at first I was scared. But then, I don't know why. I wanted to know if I put my hand in it, would it go away? So I put my hand in it, nothing. I didn't feel cold, I didn't feel weird, I didn't feel anything, it was just, and it was still there guys. I promise you on everything, I'm not making this up, this is a thousand and one percent true. The hand, okay. The hand forms into the number two. It just goes to two. So it was a hand and it went to a two. And I'm like, I, I'm looking at this thing now. It's right next to me. And I'm telling my friend, I'm like, there's a hand in front of me. And he's like, Samantha, shut up. Like those sleep gummies got you feeling some type of weight. I'm like, I'm serious. It is a hand. Okay. And now it's in the number two. So when a, when a person says two, they almost think like, peace, peace up. Peace. No, it's the number two because on my wall, I was seeing the number two. I am not lying, guys. I am 1,000 and 1 million percent sure everything is going on. At this point, I'm starting to fall back to sleep again. Remember, I have these sleep gummies in me. I'm starting to fall back to sleep. My bed starts vibrating. Again, I don't want to say it's Tylee because a lot of people want to hope that she's still alive. And if she's communicating with me, most likely now it shows that she's passed. So I don't want to keep saying it's Tylee. But whichever spirit it is, is now vibrating my bed to waking me up. Like it's it's not so easy this time to wake me up. It is vibrating my bed, waking me up. I am now screaming, yelling, 
leave me alone, leave me alone, what do you want? I'm, I'm doing it again. He's telling me that at this point, he's laying in his bed trying to doze off. It is 1.30 in the morning. He says that I say now that it, it that I'd help me, like help me, like I'm saying help me, help me. And he's saying that I sounded like I was a kid voice, but I could have just been scared. So I was like, okay, what does that mean? I'm trying to because you guys told me that when the channels were going through that I should have seen if it stopped on a specific channel to see if it is a sign. Well, remember I told you that immediately in my head was boom, obstacle course. But I looked up and Yellowstone Park does not have an obstacle course. It has a rope course. So, and remember I was choked. So... Guys, I'm just putting pieces together, okay? I'm not a psychic. I'm not a medium. I'm, I, I, I could be an empath, but I closed that off a long time ago. I don't know why this is all happening right now, but you guys are telling me that she is coming to me for a reason. You guys are all telling me. I'm reading my comments like over and over and over and over because you guys are helping me and I'm so grateful and appreciative. So I doze back to sleep. This time I'm, I'm, I'm asleep. My friend had hung up the phone. Okay. Cause I'm asleep. It's two 30. My phone turns on because the light, you know, it, the light and it's on and I screenshotted it guys. It is on the YouTube channel. This it is on YouTube and this is playing. The reporter is talking and it's on. I am freaking out. It says, our investigators take an inside look at Lori Vallow slash Chad Daybell cult. That is what it's on. Right there. I, whoo. Guys, I'm like, wow. This right here verifies it all that it is Tylee communicating with me. It is Tylee. I don't think it's JJ. I definitely think it's Tylee. And she is trying to get me to help her. She's trying to show me something. Something is going on. So that pops up. And again, I see the number two. The number two. Why do I keep seeing this number two? So again, I'm, I'm terrified that you know, my the things on, I'm calling for my son. My son does not come. He's fast asleep. And I'm just like, okay, that's it. I'm done with this night. Boom, take the blanket over my head, turn off my phone and I'm gone and back to sleep. I wake up, no more incidences happen. I wake up this morning. I am so tired. I'm so exhausted. I mean, imagine your body waking up out of your sleep over and over and over. And then the fear and the terror in you. And you guys are telling me, don't be scared. Some of don't be scared. But it's hard not to be scared, guys. It's hard. You're hearing things. You're feeling things. My bed is vibrating. I'm seeing things on my wall. Like, it's scary, okay? So, I decide to do a little research and I look up that Yellowstone Park has the rope course and the rope course has one through 49, one through 49 unique challenge element courses. One through 49. So that means if there's one through 49, that means there's a two. So, I don't know what else to say. I, I I don't know what else to say. I one of my subscribers is actually from Idaho and we've been talking and I'm asking her, you know, should I should should I con she completely believes me. Completely believe it's it is Tylee. She's reaching out to me. Um when I was actually sure why she picked me, but she did. And should I Commute, could, should I call Idaho police? Should I, you know, they're looking for somebody that was there on that day that Tally was last seen. I was not there. So I cannot say I was there. And if I call and say I'm having, uh, Tally is coming to me or premonitions or feelings or they're going to hang up on me and think I'm a quack. So this situation you have to handle delicately. 
and I don't know where to go from here. So, guys, I need your help, please. In the comments below, tell me what to do. I called my mom, and my mom thought I was joking at first. Then when I told her, Mom, I'm when I, when I told her I couldn't sleep, there was a ghost in my house, that's what I texted her. She was like, she just laughed it off or whatever. And then when I called her and I said, she goes, you're serious? She was, Samantha, I thought you outgrew this. That is the first thing my mother said. Samantha, I thought you outgrew this. There's your living proof right there, guys. Yes, I used to lit. I used to talk to the to to the passing. I used to communicate. I used to see things. I saw. I, I don't think I ever talked about it in a video, but I actually saw one of my friend's mom's murders. I saw it, and three days later, they found her. But that's when I was. That is when I was young. I was young. I'm 32 years old now. I thought I outgrew this too, but for some reason, this is coming back. So please pray for me, meditate for me, light a candle for me, something, anything in the comments below. I'm not trying to do this for views. I'm not making this up. This is 1 million percent true and I don't know where to do what to do from here. I'm going to contact my therapist and ask her, tell her that I lit the candle, but I guess I was supposed to light a red one. I don't own a red one, so maybe I'll have to go out and get one. But Tylee is restless. She's restless and she wants to be heard. She's trying to tell me something. The number two obstacle course. The freaking video popping up on my YouTube channel. I mean, on my phone. My phone is asleep, you know, and then it turns on and YouTube video pops up. Come on. I don't know what to do from here. And it's it, it it's scary. It really is. So again, guys, please in the comments below like you did yesterday, let me know what you think I should do. My head hurts. I'm tired. I haven't slept. I mean, am I gonna have to start sleeping during days and then up at night? Like, I don't know what to do because she won't let me sleep. That's what I actually said. I remember my friend telling me, he was like, you kept saying, leave you alone, help me. What do you want? And she won't let me sleep. That's what he said I kept saying. So again, I know this is a very sad situation. This is a touchy situation. I don't know what to do from here. I'm just gonna take a deep breath. And I'm gonna see you guys on my next video. And we're gonna try to steer away from this content because I know this content isn't what everybody believes in. This is not what everybody has come here to watch. You watch me for spoilers. You watch me for subscription boxes. You watch me for makeup. You watch me for hauls. You don't watch me for the paranormal activity. So I'll catch you guys on my next video. As always, stay beautiful, stay blessed. I'm Samantha Sweets. Thank you.